try to drift from the outside of this. Drift in the bank? There we go. What? What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7 here for a subscriber drift challenge. Make sure you guys follow me on social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So, I was challenged by a subscriber to take a stock BMW M2 with just drift suspension and drift the Norschleiben. So, we are here today to try and do that here on Forza Motorsport 7. So, before we get into that, we're going to take a look at the settings so that, you know, there's no trickery involved. So, we are running just a little bit of tire pressure in the front. Nothing major. Haven't really driven the car. Just kind of something I tend to always do. We are factory gears. No adjustment. We do have the drift suspension. But we have the drift suspension set exactly how it came. Any roll bars? None. Spring rates? Factory. How the drift suspension came. Rebound stuff. We have no downforce. There's no brake control. And we have no differential control. So, it is 100% stock with just drift suspension so we're gonna see if we can do it here on the norschleiben ring here on forza more sports 7 we got the bmw pumas on appropriate for today's episode we are on the fan attack with the energy innovations wheel let's go this should be interesting i'm gonna back up a smidge here for a second though just to get a a little bit of a bearing of the car because not really sure how this car is gonna react with you know the factory diff and everything in there so all right so it kind of gets a little bit uh a little bit gripped up we are on full 900 degrees of rotation wow this car is loud all right let's uh lower that a little bit so i don't blow you headphone users up let's just go for it Second gear is a rip gear for sure. There's a handbrake there. We're not going to be able to drift every single stretch or everything on the Norschleiben because there is parts of the track that you, know, you can't drift. I could try and manji it, but eh. Slow down a little bit. I still pretty much know how this track goes, so that's going to be a huge helping factor. Clutch kick that. Oh, using all the rumble strips. Oh, man. No. A little bit of grass life. But we're good. Getting a little bit of understeer from the car for sure because, well, you know, not grippy tires, no tune, basic drift suspension settings. Oh, locking the brakes up. Little clutch kicks just to drift a little bit on here. Now we're not going to be able to drift this straight, obviously. So, if there's a subscriber challenge series, would you guys be interested in it? Would you guys like to challenge me to do things, whether it be on a set of Corsa, Forza Motorsport 7, Horizon, whatever? I'm always up for challenges. We're going to slow down a little bit. Handbrake that. Kind of just coast that a little bit. This one's going to be a bit more. Probably should have stayed in third. Yep, should have stayed in third. But like I said, if you guys want to challenge me to do something, whether it be on Assetto or Forza Motorsport 7 or something like that, a drift challenge, a grip challenge, whatever, let me know down in the comments. If you guys would like to see more subscriber challenge videos, also let me know down in the comments down below. Okay. Oh, a lot of understeer there. Oh, we got it. We good. Oh, definitely a ripper for sure. It is a little bit uh, 
a little harder than anticipated to do this on this car, but like I said, we do not have any type of diff work or anything, so I don't have lock diffs or anything set. I did not tune the suspension by any means, so it's definitely a challenge. A lot of clutch kicks though. We're not doing half bad though. Thought we were gonna fifth that into the wall. We're not doing too too bad. I could be doing a whole lot worse here for sure. Uh handbrake that to counteract that understeer for sure. Oh I didn't think we were gonna make that. Kind of got a little sloppy on the steering, but we managed to keep it. You can see the front wheels locking up hard with the zero brake bias and pushing so much harder on the pedal than I'm used to because in Assetto I have my brakes tuned to where I can push really hard on the pedal. And Forza, I got to kind of get a little bit gentler on the brakes so I don't have them tuned. That was a big lock up. What? For only being second time back here on Force of Motorsport 7, since I put the Xbox back in the office, not half bad. I don't know. You guys can blast me in the comments if you want. But I don't think I'm doing half bad. Got to use a lot of handbrake, though, to uh, help counteract that massive understeer that this car is throwing at me. I could be doing more uh you know clutch kicks to help counteract the counter steer but or the lack of um lack of oversteer but you know what it is uh it's here i use it you know it's been a big huge discussion on the channel about using the handbrake but you know what if you have it and you can use it ooh, use it I'm trying to get some speed out of this m2 right now Handbrake on that. Cool. A little high speed drift. Oh, save it, save it, save it. Oh, I was doing so good without wrecking, and then I kind of had to go biff into the wall on that one. But that's drifting. Now the car looks like a proper drift car. Not enough power for that section. Try drifting the outside of this. Drift in the bank? There we go. What? I'll take it. Drift in that little cam cambered bank here on the North Slivin Ring. Oh, that turn almost got me. I've driven this track so many times that I kind of have a oh, a good remember of the turns and where I should be with this course for racing. So drifting, I've only drifted actually North Schleiman only a handful of times. Um, so it is different, but it is a heck of a lot of fun. Oh, we're going to wall tap that. Oh, get off the wall, get off the wall, get off the wall. So we wrecked twice. So I'm going to count that as a win for right now. Oh, bog down uphill. Oh, we're going to hit the wall. Oh, I tried to turn into it. But unfortunately, the grass will kill you here on North Slavin Ring. Oh, I should have shifted. We were doing pretty good in the beginning, getting close to the latter part of the track. Could be because tires are definitely a, a factor now, because I do have sim damage and everything on, so tires are definitely a factor. You can feel the car getting a little bit more slide happy, which could be a good thing but could also be a bad thing at the same time. Sometimes too much slide 
is about as bad as no slide. Although no slide means you go ahead first into a wall. So, if you guys want to keep seeing subscriber challenges here on the channel, let me know down in the comments. If you got a challenge you want to see on the channel, let me know down in the comments. We're not really going to drift this part. Coming up to a nice little, uh, nice little section that we can drive. Slow down a little bit. Okay, I pulled that way too early. All the clutch kicks. Ooh, a little bit of grass love. Nothing major. I think we are pretty much done with the track. Ah, because the last part is a long stretch. We kind of biffed it on there. We will see if we can maybe uh, do a little fun stuff on there stretch but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on forza motorsport 7 as always i think you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil Evan. i'll see you guys on the track Got it.